Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about balance and unbalanced forces. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number one. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to distinguish between balance and unbalanced forces. The second one is to explain the effects of balanced and unbalanced forces on the motion of objects. And the third one is to appreciate the rule of balance and unbalanced forces in everyday life by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will identify what type of force it is. purpose of the lesson for unlocking of content vocabulary the students will answer the match type activity for the developing and deepening of understanding in this lesson let us define first what is balance and unbalanced forces Balance forces, it is when the forces acting on an object are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. The forces are considered balance. Suppose you are pushing a wall, and as expected, the wall does not move and neither do you. It means that you and the wall are exerting a balance force on each other. Another example of balance forces is the image. It shows a game of tug of war between equally matched opponents. Neither of the participating teams can pull the other teams towards themselves, and this is due to balance forces. Another example of balance force is a book resting on the table. The force of gravity is balanced by the force exerted by the table. When the forces acting on the object are balanced, it means the net force of the object is zero. The forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, so they cancel each other out. For an object at rest, balance forces means that the object will remain at rest. The forces acting on it, such as the force of gravity and the normal force from a surface, are equal and opposite, so the object does not accelerate and remains stationary. For an object in motion, balance forces means the object will continue moving at the constant velocity. If the forces acting on the object such as air resistance and the force propelling it forward are balanced, the object will not speed up, slow down, or change direction. It will maintain its current speed and trajectory. 
The key point is that balance forces result in no change to an object's motion. The object will either stay at rest or continue moving at the constant velocity, as long as the forces acting on it remain balanced. On the other hand, unbalanced forces, it is when the resultant force acting on the body is not equal to zero. The forces acting on the body are known as unbalanced forces. The body acted upon by unbalanced forces changes its state of motion. Practically, anything that moves is a result of the exertion of unbalanced forces on it. If you kick a football and it moves from one place to another, it means that the unbalanced troops are acting upon it. The image shows two people on the seesaw. The person on the right is significantly heavier than the person on the left and the seesaw is effectively tilted towards him. This is an example of unbalanced forces. The following are the differences between the balance and the unbalanced forces. For the balanced forces, the forces are equal in magnitude, whereas in unbalanced forces, the forces are unequal in magnitude. When it comes to the balance forces, it does not cause any change in the state of motion of the object, while in unbalanced forces, it causes change in the state of motion of the object. For the work example, the students will identify if the given picture is balance or unbalanced forces. In making of generalizations for the learner's takeaways, the students will answer the KWL chart. So using the graphic organizer, the students will answer the L column or what they have learned about the lesson. And for the reflection of learning, the students will answer the following questions.